Hey guys, welcome to Any Car Log. My name is Mike, and today we're going to be looking at a personal plow, the Snow Sport uh, HD plow. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so if you watched my last video, you would know that I installed a front hitch on my S10 Blazer ZR2 model. Um, the reason I said in the video was for a plow, and what the plow is, is a Stow Sport HD utility plow. Um, this plow I've had for about eight years, seven to eight years, and I've used it on multiple vehicles. Um, so I've got plenty of experience with this plow. I haven't used it in a few years, so it's been sitting out in the elements. The bracket's a little bit rusty, and we have to sand it down and paint it. Um, but for now, snow's coming tomorrow, it's cold out today. Um, so I'm going to just put it on the truck and go over a few things that I like about it. Number one thing I love about it is nothing to fail. It is all mechanical. You need a front hitch. Once you put the front hitch on, you slide in the front receiver brackets. Once the front receiver bracket's in, then you just pop the plow on uh, to the brackets. It sits up high when you're driving in a transport mode. Um, doesn't really move around too much when you're transporting it. And then when you're ready to plow, you just lift up the plow, move the pin, slide it down over the bar, put the pin back in, and it basically floats over the ground, pushing the snow forward. And you would think that it's only so tall, it's not gonna really move much snow, but it does move a good amount of snow as long as it's not like already piled up. It doesn't really move snow plows, snow piles, but it will move a good few inches of snow and really stack it up. Um, so I can try to find some pictures from uh, past use and I'll try to get some footage tomorrow of it in use but I'm not sure if that will happen um, one thing I don't like is with most plows it doesn't work very well on lifted vehicles so my vehicles are pretty much always lifted I had it on a lifted um, Grand Cherokee and then I had it on a lifted Dakota and then I had it on a lifted 08 GMC, uh, Chevy Silverado 1500 and now I've got it on my ZR2 Blazer which from the factory is lifted higher than a stock um, S10 Blazer but um, what I am going to be doing is adjusting the bracket I never adjusted the bracket to properly sit at the right height um, so I'm going to do that not tonight but um, soon when I paint it I'm going to flip the bracket over and get it to lower down. You want the bottom of the bracket to be sitting at 8 to 10 inches, preferably right around 8 inches. Uh, that way the plow can sit with the brackets being pushed properly with the bracket. On my raised vehicles, typically if the plow is hanging all the way at its bottom limits, it's going to cause the plow to want to bend backwards, which will then cause damage to the back of the plow, which I've done a little bit of damage to this plow, uh, but it's really not that bad. It still works perfectly. So I'm going to quickly set you down on the ground and show you how I put the plow on. Nice thing is you can install this one person. You don't need to be that strong and you don't need any help. So I'm going to show you how I put this up onto the bracket. Now that is the plow in transport mode. Um, I'll try to I'll get some footage of what it looks like from the front, but it's just below the headlights. And when I adjust the bracket, it'll be even lower. And this is the plow in the standard plowing mode where you would plow snow. Um, so basically when you plow the snow it pushes up against the bracket, pushes the snow forward, glides over the ground if it needs to or lifts itself up with pressure. Um, 
and then when you back up it actually lays almost flat and the side rails cause the plow to sit up off the ground and allow it to back up over like an inch of snow and then when you go forward again it'll push that snow it works really well and I'll try to get some footage of it but uh, this is just a quick review showing you how to install it and uh, some of the basics about it I will uh, try to do some more videos on it I'll try to do some more videos on the snow sport plow kind of going over it and especially when I get the bracket properly mounted um, but I have quite a bit of experience with personal plows I have a Fisher Homesteader plow as well I'll be making more videos on that uh, there's a video already um, showing this one in use and then I've also got a video that shows how the mounting bracket is not ideal because the vehicle is lifted the angle of the plow is further down than it should be So if you have any questions on the Fisher Homesteader plow, or if you have any questions on the Snow Sport HD plow, uh, feel free to comment below or hit me up on uh, my website, anycarlog.com. There's a question section to submit questions and video ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah.